CSB Athletics. And sitting here next to me today is Jessica Baristianos, who is our latest great example and senior third baseman on the softball team. Jessica is recognized by our school from her excellent leadership skills both on and off the field. Now Jessica, I know you didn't just get the team leadership position. So how were you able to put yourself to where you are today? Um, it's actually been uh, just the influence I've had. Um, since I was a freshman, I had great examples of leaders. They were great on and off the field, attitude, the way they played, the way, um, just the way they carried themselves. They were just great leaders then, and they made me want to be a better leader when I was older. So that's great. And how were you able to choose UCSB? Um, I'm a great, I'm a big family girl. I am very close with my family. I really wanted it to stay close in California and um, to be right by the beach. I mean, the atmosphere, the vibe I get from the students, just walking around campus. It was, the second I stepped on this campus, I, my jaw dropped and I just knew that it was a place that I needed to be for the next four years. So it was great. How far away do you live? Do you live a couple hours away? I'm actually from the Bay Area, so oh. I mean, it's not too far. It's far enough to um, actually, you know, get away. I feel like I'm away at college, mm -hmm. but at the same time, um, parents can visit whenever. They're still close to my games. I mean, majority of our games are played in LA, so, you know, it's nice. A nice commute. I mean, it's not too bad. Do you have any mentors um, on this campus at all? Um, my coaches have actually been great mentors. Coach Bree's been great. She's been great to, someone to just go to, talk about anything, just, Great advice when it comes to resume, to just academic things. Just great someone to talk to. That's great that you had someone like that available to you. Um, in your past three seasons, you have definitely accomplished a lot. And this starting season, you girls are actually doing really well. So what are your goals this year in softball? Um, just to have a successful season, I mean, these girls worked so hard in the preseason and just off season. We've just really have been focusing on the small things, just the details, and just working together as a team, focusing on our chemistry. Um, we've really put in a lot of hard work, and we're really willing. We can't wait to see the results of it. And along with your dedication to softball, you are also an active member in the community, and you're a volunteer. Tell us your secret on how you're able to time manage so well. Um, well, I've actually been given the opportunities to help in a lot of situations, and um, I just love helping out. I find time, I guess, you know. I, if I can only meet from, you know, 12 to 1, I mean, that's an hour out of the day that I can help, you know. If, if anything, it's, you know, little help here goes a long way, so. I find, I find time. <laughs> and lastly, graduation is right around the corner. So what are your personal goals after graduating? Um, personal goals, I'm actually really looking forward to discovering that. I really would like to go to nursing school. Um, I haven't completely decided which path I decided to want to go on. Um, whether I'm going to maybe take a year off and then go to school um, out, of, out of state or, um, or go to school in state. Um, I haven't decided yet, but definitely nursing school is in the mix, so I'm actually looking forward to figuring out that path. So. Sounds like an excellent path. Yeah, I'm really <laughs> excited. <laughs> well, congratulations on getting the great example. Oh, thank you very much. And good luck on the rest of your season. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> if you want to find out more about Jessica and any of our other great examples, you can log on to ucsbgauchos.com.